Well, hey there, everybody. It is I, Embrace the Matrix, and this is another wonderful creation by myself. And this is the voiceover that accompanies this particular painting. So I hope you all are doing well out there. Um, let's see. So uh, what are we doing here? Um, all right. Well, as you can see, I got uh, me a big ass bucket of gloss gel, medium, and I generally use that to mix up uh, with my colors, especially now that I'm painting more in uh, heavy body Liquitex and Golden. Uh, you know, and that stuff is some expensive ass paint. But as you can see there, you know, I put a big couple big dollops of uh, gloss gel, a little bit of squirt of uh, some uh, some golden pile pile red or whatever, and yeah, it goes a long way. It's the way to go. Gloss gel medium, the best price you can get is on Amazon, and uh, is it Amazon? I think it's Amazon. Yeah, I just buy it in like a bucket because I use it a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is a little sore. Um, so yeah, so we're uh, we're painting this canvas uh, red. Yeah, for starters, this is what you call the background. Um, I picked up these uh, 12 by 36 canvases, and I gotta be honest, I'm like just over, just kind of like getting all giddy and silly because I'm like these are like an awesome size um, I mean I like painting on big canvases I actually like painting on small canvases but these 12 by 36s are uh, really cool I mean they, you can go you know obviously vertical or horizontal and you can get out of them what you want but uh, yeah I'm, uh, I just bought like 10 of them because Michaels had them on sale like 70% off or something so I just bought a whole bunch of them because uh, one of my new paintings coming out soon is uh, going to have a... Uh, I put two of these together and do a really killer Lifelines uh, painting. So, but this one's a little different. Um, as you can see, I've gotten my hair dryer out. Um, because I, I knew I was going to put two layers of red on. But I wanted it to kind of dry up a little. Um just before I put the next layer on. I just want it to be real red, thick. I don't want any, sh you know, canvas show through or nothing like that. So, I don't do this often. Usually I'll just wait for it to dry and then just come back the next day or whatever, but I, I think I was feeling somewhat impatient. So I, uh, I commandeered the wife's hair dryer. See what I'm doing? I'm just like, is it dry yet? No, just like, because I know I'm putting another layer on, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get it real tacky and, and stick and you know, the, the, I'll dry my hand a little. Why not? Um, again, because I know I'm going to put another layer on it, so uh, this layer is going to look. You'll see it, it looks it looks a lot nicer. Um, I mean, even with the golden and using the gloss gel, sometimes you know you don't get supreme coverage. You know, sometimes I, I want to be like super bold, super red, but I don't want to use a lot of paint on its own because that stuff's like so so damn expensive, especially the red. Um, <clears throat> so um, this is my little trick to doing that is just, you know, just layering it up a couple layers thick. I mean, I knew exactly what I was going for when uh, I started this painting. I was going to do another uh, uh, line. It's a line painting, but it's not uh, life lifelines. It's, you know, I mask I mask off the lines. And to be honest, my first one, I called it ETM. And to give you a little hit, and then I had a second one that I called um, Jeepers Peepers. And the, that was ostensibly, it was ETM2. And uh, this will be... ETM3 primarily um, and that whole the whole reason for that is um, even the first one because it you know had the lines and uh, 
you know, the just the one splat of paint looks like a gunshot sort of. Uh, to be honest, it was kind of my homage to Mr. Brainwash. If you guys know who Mr. Brainwash is, he used to call himself M, you know, it's abbreviated MBW. I was uh, I was a huge fan of his in the beginning. Um, I actually have a few of his uh, prints um, that I bought, and I have a few other things that he did. But I'm not a real big fan of him anymore. I think he just capitalizes on um, things that are going on in society, and um, yeah, it's I don't know. He I think he's he's gotten really ugly. So, anyways, that's a whole other topic. But, anyways, that was kind of like my sort of homage because it just reminded me of stuff that he might have done. Um, but, anyways, <clears throat> but I kind of like the the technique of it because it like the the second one I did, the Jeepers Peepers, which is on here and it is for sale. Um, I, I I did these lines, but I I had them go different directions. And the reason I called it Jeepers Peepers because, man, if you look at it for too long, your eyes start to go kaka cuckoo um so but this one is just uh you know the lines and i'm using uh i think it's quarter inch painter's tape uh which is really thin so like even though even the roll that it comes in is just super thin it's not the easiest to tape to work with um because it can it cannot go it, it can you know i want these lines perfectly straight <laughs> And even this this video and this camera seems to have sort of a fisheye lens, so it looks like it's bowing out at the bottom, but it's really not. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we what I like to call painstaking. Oh, and I'm drinking uh, bulletproof coffee. In case you're wondering, that's not uh, um, I don't know, it's not normal coffee. It's bulletproof coffee. And if you don't know what bulletproof coffee is, Google it. You'll find out. And actually, it's decaffeinated because I don't do caffeine, so. And obviously, that the fact that you see me drinking bulletproof coffee signifies that this was done early in the morning because I drink bulletproof coffee almost every morning, um, in in lieu of breakfast. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, this is the uh, painstakingly tedious uh, part where I'm just uh, eyeballing the tape, making sure I got it as straight as possible. I don't use any type of rulers or measurements or anything like that. I just eyeball it. And I usually get it pretty straight. Um, you know, obviously I start at one end so I can get a baseline started. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is tedious. This takes a while to do. And granted, this is sped up, but... Um, it, it makes for a cool effect like I, I learned really quickly you know the, the cool uses of tape and painting and stuff and I, I you know I've, I've done a few things you see some of my other paintings that have uh, I've used tape on it's it's not my preferred uh, way to create but when I get in the mood you know when I saw these 12 by 36 canvases I was like oh it's gonna make for a really cool um, you know, I don't know what you even want to call this, but like, you know, line, painting, whatever. I, I don't know. And I just screwed up that piece of tape. Because <laughs> this stuff, oh no, I just ran out. That's what it was. I ran out of that spool. I had to get some more. And I bought that stuff on Amazon because I can't find quarter inch painter's tape uh, anywhere in the stores. Um, because, you know, a lot of times I want to get like finite lines and details and you just can't get that you know by using uh, you know one inch tape or even half inch tape so I actually really like it I mean this is believe it or not is as long as this takes and as painstaking as it is it's it, it is for me I get in I get in a zone like you'll see it's just I'm doing the same thing over and over just you know I got it down because you gotta remember, like you're you're working with tape that's like quarter inch thick, and it's not meant to be super sticky. So it 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 can do its own thing if you don't control it, and it's not easy to get it straight, especially when you're going three feet over, you know, three feet wide on it. So, <clears throat> and that was kind of the other reason why I wanted two layers of 
paint uh, two layers of the red on the background because um, for one I wanted it to be super smooth and and per, you know perfectly covered so that you know when I when I put the next color on it's you know you can still see the red um, <clears throat> but anyways uh, yeah and you definitely want it to be smooth if it's all like bumpy and stuff like that then it's not uh, the tapes not gonna stick right and even worse when you put your next color on it's gonna bleed under or bleed through and that can be a problem and then all this was for nothing and then you gotta do something else with it but I knew exactly from the start this was gonna be one of those you know two-tone line paintings and I was gonna hit it with an, you know hit it with my spray bottle make it all cool like so yeah so this will be etm etm3 i think i'm gonna call it i haven't even come up with a name yet for it by the time this video will be posted i'll have figured it out um it's probably gonna be called something like white life or white line or i don't know i honestly don't know yet so it'll be a surprise um well you'll already know it when you get the video when you see the video so but at this current moment in time, and it is, to be honest, it is 7-23-2016, a.m. I do not have a name for this painting yet. So, and I probably won't even post this for a few days. So, nah. That'll give me some more time to think about it. But we're getting there, as you can see. We're almost done. I thought this would be a good one to do another voiceover, just because the, um... This is a uh, this is my third painting in this sort of series, and I haven't really talked about it. And I don't know. I just uh, it um, I don't know. It was just something I did initially, just messing around, and I really liked the look of it. And, uh, and you know, and as much as I try to be as original as possible, I'm sure somewhere along the line somebody else has done something like it, but who cares, because uh, it, it wasn't the Im Matrix that did it, and yeah, so uh, it's, yeah, of course it's original, unique for me, uh, because uh, it's me, so there you go, that's how I think about things, um, I'm influenced by nobody, well, yeah, not really, um, not generally, I don't. Uh, I get an out. I, I get inspired, but I wouldn't say I'm influenced. Um, and here's the other thing on this one, I, as opposed to the other ones I've done, I've taken the lines off on the edge, all edges. Like obviously they're on the long, you know, the the short edges. But usually I, I run the lines along the um, edge, the the uh, edges. But I didn't do it on this one, and I don't know what I was thinking. I think at this point I was just tired. And like, ah, okay. Let's move on. So, here we go. Now we're going to add us uh, some black. So, obviously, I was going to do red and black. And, um, of course, we got, I'm pretty sure I used, I missed it. I wasn't looking, but I'm pretty sure I used golden carbon black. And I'm going to put some uh, gloss gel medium in there. Mix it up. Because that's the other thing I learned too is that if um, you're doing a painting and you want to keep the, the color, um, you know, look of it the consistent, you want to use that gloss gel. So if you use gloss gel on your background and you're going to put other colors on, you better mix it with. Uh, that gloss gel medium otherwise it's gonna look a little flat unless it's what you're going for I have some where I haven't used it and like the way the contrast where it's not glossy because obviously the gloss gel makes it glossy if it already wasn't glossy so yeah I like that stuff um, it's a paint extender and I just love uh, how it looks I mean I dig it I'll, I'll mix it I'll mix it up just to splatter because for one you know obviously when you're splattering paint you waste a lot of paint 
so it's better that you know you're mixing it with something and not using it straight out the tube because that's going to get real expensive and I've spent a good amount of money recently on golden paints and fortunately I'm pretty finicky and look for deals and 50% off coupons from Michaels and stuff like that so I definitely do not and will never pay full price for stuff like that I think that's ridiculously overpriced as it is so nonetheless here we go so it's very simple uh, you just slap the paint on and even with this you just got to make sure it's covered you don't have to be perfect or really be concerned with the direction you know of the, you know obviously you you want to go with the tape you really don't want to go against the tape because um, that's gonna uh, run you the risk of it pulling the tape up and um, bleeding underneath it which would suck um, so you just long covering strokes make sure and I think even at this I mixed way too much paint so I really layered it on and I'm getting the edges and stuff but again even how you see how you can see the streaks once you peel the tape off you're not gonna see any of that um, so of course I did the edges uh, black I, I in hindsight I think I should have taped put a, just like one or two pieces of tape just to to bring the lines around the edge on, on the long side but that's all right it's still pretty awesome so and the other thing too is when I do this I do not wait for this to dry I have done one where I waited for the paint to dry and then it's a big it it, it doesn't it rips the paint sometimes off and uh, you know <clears throat> so anytime I use tape now I, uh, I, I if I can I'll paint it and then pull the tape so this is the cool part this is this is what this is you got what you guys waited 16 minutes for um, was to see this because to me this is when it gets exciting because obviously the paint's still wet now here's the tricky part you're pulling off little strips of tape you got to be very careful because if you'd slip and drop them and they come fall they got paint on them so if they fall down on the thing you're done there goes your perfect lines it's just ruined um, so what you can't see off camera is I'm taking an exacto knife and I'm pulling the tape up off the bottom I, I tend to pull all the tape up off uh, you know get it started and then I'll start to pull it because I, I you don't want to mess around here you want to and you definitely aren't doing one at a time because that's even you're asking for more headache if you're doing one at a time so uh, and unfortunately I don't have a good camera angle here but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm pulling it off I'm getting it started and then you'll see I'm gonna pull them off in groups of like three or four here we go whoosh look at that that's awesome but yeah you you, you want to pull them off and be very careful because like I said if you go to like drop one or let it rip out of your you know pop out of your hand man you're gonna be upset because it's gonna fall back on your thing and uh, you know mess up your pretty lines but but yeah, you just do them in groups. It's easier and faster. You know, we want to get to the end here. So, I don't know. I, I, I like red and black, white. You know, these are like some of my favorite colors to use. So, I thought, you know, I've done a couple. Uh, my other two were white and black with uh, with red. I thought, let's do red and black background with a white uh, paint drip gunshot looking thing whatever so yeah I thought this would turn out cool and actually it, it did turn out pretty cool I uh, I, I wasn't you'll, you'll see we'll, we'll get to the issues I came across but there you go that's what the backgrounds ultimately looks like and here we go time to fire away so I just have I just use regular as you can see just regular bottles but here's the thing like you got to get ready and BAM and then Now, obviously, I just I, I mix the paint now to thin it out a little to get it to come out the bottle. <laughs> I use airbrush medium um, so you don't lose any pigment. I don't use water to thin my paints. I only use airbrush medium. 
um, but and sometimes the paint doesn't want to come out of these spray bottles like you want them to so you have to finesse and whatnot so what I'm going for is a nice because this is a obviously a, a you know a fairly wide and uh, a 12 inch wide but long so I don't want to overspray the top but I want the paint to drip down and make it to the bottom now here's the thing now it at this point it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do and I was not really happy with it um, so I hit it with some more paint because obviously I need I want it to go all the way down almost to the bottom and it wasn't and this is not sped up this is in real time so you know you know this is why I love what I do because it's so unpredictable so here you go you gotta line it up and hit it again hit it with some more because I'm trying to get it to run down further but here's the thing paint does whatever the fuck paint wants to do if you're not directly controlling it on the canvas if you're just putting it on the canvas and letting it drip like this guess what it's gonna do whatever the hell it wants to do so it's again it's not going down as far as I wanted it to and not going down as thick as I wanted it to so I let this go but off camera I hit it a bunch more times and you'll see in the, the final picture which is coming up very soon you'll see what happened and I actually uh, I got really mad and just blasted the hell out of it and cause see I just I wanted that drip to be thicker and I wanted it to go down further um, and it just wasn't it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do and yeah so I got mad and you know some people would have been like well you could just left it like this that's cool but I, I really wasn't happy with it so yeah, off camera I hit it a whole mess of times. I and quite frankly, I really raised the paint up off the canvas, the white. And what it did was instead of having one nice streak like that, it created multiple streaks, which at first I really wasn't happy with. But in hindsight now, I, I like it because I look at it as like multiple multiple shots, so you're gonna have multiple streaks. So here we go. We're coming up on the. Uh, the finish still and you can see I blasted it way more and we got some multiple streak action going and it did actually go all the way down to the bottom not exactly what I wanted but nonetheless it turned out still pretty awesome thanks for watching please subscribe have a great day